Hi and welcome back to our videos on Dreamweaver CS5 and HTML. In this video I want to start talking about how to set up tables of information. And we're going to actually be discussing several tags today. We're going to be discussing the uh, table tag. We're going to be discussing a couple uh, or a few um, semantic table elements. The T head to hold your table heading area, the T body to hold the body of your table, and the T foot tag to indicate the table footer. And then we're going to talk about these structural elements, TR, TH, and uh, TD. Oops, I put TH in there twice. THs are table headers, TDs are table data cells, and those are all contained in TRs, which stand for table rows. Now, if you go into Design View, you're going to see that Dreamweaver is going to give you several tools for creating tables. If I go to the insert menu here, I've got an option for table. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and you'll see the dialog box that comes up. It's going to ask you for the number of rows and the number of columns you want in your table. It's also going to ask you for the table width, as well as three formatting properties, the border thickness, cell padding, and cell spacing. Now, if you choose to use this insert method, you're always going to want to leave border, padding, and spacing spacing empty. You're also going to want to, well, you may want to leave table width in there initially for when you create the table and then take it out later. But all of these elements here, or all these attributes of this table element, should be defined within CSS. And in our CSS tables videos, you'll see how to do that. Now, after you've chosen the number of rows and the number of columns and potentially put in a table width, you're going to have to choose where your headers are in your table. Now, none here is going to apply no headers to your table. So all the cells will be TDs, or table data cells. You'll see more what uh, that means in just a moment. And then you also have left, that the left-hand column is marked as headers. Top, which the top row is marked as headers. And you can also do both, with both the left column and the top row marked as headers. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead and select top, and you'll see how that works. You can also add a caption for your table, and place a summary for your table. And you should always place a summary for your table. The caption will actually appear in the table, and you'll see that, and that will depend on um, what you're actually trying to do with your table. So under caption, I'm going to go ahead and type sample caption. And under summary, I'm going to go ahead and type, this is a summary of the table. Now, you can only use 256 characters in this summary. So if you've got a very complicated table, you may have to uh, do some tricks to get a summary in there for um, screen readers and other accessibility um, tools. But for right now, we're just going to place a sample summary in here. Again, remember, I placed the top row, I said the top row are going to be headers, and everything else should be data cells. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and you'll see my table. You'll also see the caption appearing at the top here. Now let's go ahead and look in Code View and see what Dreamweaver actually set up for us. If we go into Code View, you're going to see here in our body area, it opened the table up, and it said the width is going to be 400 pixels. It didn't actually put the px in there, but it's going to assume it's pixels. You're always going to want to uh, define whether something is pixels or m's or whatever. And then you're going to see the summary comes right after the width. After that, we have a caption. And it actually placed the caption on three lines. I'm going to go ahead and change that a little bit. You can see here I can come in and modify that a little bit. Now, I said that my table was going to have so many rows and so many columns. Every time I see a TR, that's a row. And you're going to see here, there's a closing TR, that's the end of the row. So you're going to see I have four THs contained within this TR. And what that basically means is there are four header cells within the first row of this table. Now, if I come down here even further, I'm going to see I've got another TR opening, and I have four data cells, four data cells there. 
And again, whenever I open something, I've got to close it. So there's the closing TD and the closing TH. So I've got my first row right here, my second row in my table, my third row in my table, my fourth row in my table, and then finally my fifth row in my table. And if I go into design view, again, you'll see there's one, two, three, four columns or four data cells or header cells in every row. And there are a total of one, two, three, four, five rows. So that's what a basic HTML table, and I have non-breaking spaces in here, looks. Uh, this is what a, 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 an HTML table looks like. Now, Dreamweaver's tool is really great to use, and you can see how quickly I set up that table. But the problem is, if you begin to rely on these tools in Dreamweaver for creating things, when you have to customize it, when you have to go in and uh, modify it or make something special, you won't know how to actually work with the code. So in our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually set this up by hand, and you'll see how that works. And then in other videos, we're going to talk about attributes of tables that are very valuable, like the scope attribute here, as well as attributes um, for column groupings. So we'll see you in the next video.